Hi everyone, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a font from the Hungry JPEG, install it on your system, and then in Inkscape, I'm going to teach you how to thicken the font so that you can cut it out of paper or vinyl. For example, this font is very, very thin, and you'd have a very hard time cutting it and not having it break. I received my order confirmation from the Hungry JPEG. I clicked on it and I'm now in this screen where I can click the download link to download it to my computer. I have my browser set to ask me every time where I want to download something. So since this is a font, I'm going to put it in my fonts directory. And yes, I have millions of them. Um, this comes up with a strange name, so instead of naming it this that I'll never recognize, I'm going to rename it the font name. And all you need to do is type in a new name if you want to do that. And then I'm going to save it. You can see that it's placed a little icon here on, on the browser status bar at the bottom here. I can click this or I can go to my, to my directory to find it. And I had put that in my fonts folder. And then all I need to do is go and look for the name. Here it is. And then I would double click on a Mac that would extract whatever is in this zipped file. You can see the extension here is ZIP. So that means it's a zipped file. Or I can click this and it will do it for me automatically as well. Either way will work. Windows should be similar. So I'm going to click this file here and you'll see it's created a directory with the same name as the font. And then there are two directories here. So I've got the OTF font, which is an open type font, and I have the TTF, which is a true type font. And if there are going to be extra glyphs or extra characters in a font, they're going to be in the OTF version. You can see the font here or here. They look identical, but it will be the OTF version that will have extra glyphs. There's documentation with this. The Hungry JPEG always provides a ton of really useful information and images of how the font is used. So I'm going to go back to this directory over here and I want to install the OTF version. So all I need to do is double click. So I'm going to double click and it will open up with font book and I'll click install font. and it has installed that for me. You can see it here. So that the next time I open up any of my programs, that font will be there in the list of fonts as displayed by the program. So now I'm going to come up to my taskbar and start Cricut Design Space. I'm already signed in, so I'm just gonna create a new project. And I'll show you that that font is now available. So I'm just going to type my name. And once I've done that, I can click the edit panel. I'm going to click on the fonts. Here it is right here. So this is what the font looks like before you thicken it. And you can see that these little areas here are very, very thin. If you cut them with vinyl or paper, they can easily rip. So I'm going to start up Inkscape and I'm going to type my name. I'm going to double click and select my whole name, come up to the fonts over here and I'm going to look for the same font. Sometimes Inkscape is a little bit weird. It doesn't always work on the first click, so I clicked it again, and now it's displaying all of my fonts. Uh, so Samochi is right here. So once I click the text icon over here again, it displays my font options over here. I'm just going to drag these handles to make this larger so it's easier for you to see. I'm going to drag it out a little bit this way. With the font selected, I'm going to come up to Path. I'm going to choose Linked Offset. 
you're going to see there's one tiny little node right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to a different color and I'm going to drag out over here and you can see that that's created a new path in, in the back. That's, that's your offset and you can make that as small or as large as you like. I'm going to click the selection arrow and then I'm going to pull away the black area and you'll see that this has now thickened the font. If you wanted it to be less than that, I'm just going to undo here and I'm going to undo the offset. I'm going to choose again path, length offset. I'm going to change the color again to be sure that I have a different color so it's easier to see. When I pull it out, you can just pull it very slightly so that there's just a little bit of an offset. Click the selection arrow and then I'll pull away the black part and you'll see that that's thickened it just a tiny little bit. It'll make it much easier to cut. So once you've done that, you can keep both of these if you want, or you could keep just the thickened part. I'm just going to delete the original and I'm going to save this as an SVG file. So SVG is already selected and I'm going to put this into my digital cutting files and I have a folder for text. I'm going to double click that and then I'm going to name my file. I'm going to call it K Adam Chick Text and save it. And then when I go over to Design Space, I'm going to upload an image. And this is an SVG image, so I'm going to choose Upload Image. It's not a pattern. I'm going to browse for my image and I have put that into digital cutting files under text. And then here's my file. I'll open that. I'll click save. I'll select it, insert the image onto the screen and I'll just change the size and make sure that this is locked. And I'm going to make this two inches. And then when I zoom back up, here is my text. And I can drag it to whatever size I want. You'll see that your text now is thicker, has thicker lines than what it had originally. It'll be much easier to cut and use with your Cricut. If you like the font I used in this video, check below the video because I'm going to leave a link there so that you can purchase it if you like for a dollar. They also have a lot of other great products like a font bundle that they sell once a month and a crafter's font bundle that's even less expensive. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful to you.